Top of the chili, it's Thirsty Thursday. It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about Dog Alarm Mars family. Yes, Doge Alarm Mars, Elon token, the Mars token itself. We are seeing a massive rally from the market app of the after the FOMC meeting. Make sure that you like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let me know in the comments what your favorite meme coins are, family. Meme coin season is not going anywhere. Trust me, don't let anybody fudge you out. We're gonna have a rise from utility tokens and community tokens will also do well. Now, a lot of people have been sending me messages. They've been sending me messages like, Billy, Elon's volume is up. 8,000% it surpassed Shiba Inu I think I seen a video for Rodney and family when I woke up this morning the volume was sitting at about 111 million and I was like wow this is this is above Shiba Inu but since as I was putting my video together it has since changed I mean looking at the top meme coins and I got got it uh categorized in a volume as you can see right here um Elon is sitting at about 1 million in volume so either it was a glitch or it was a spike but we didn't see that transfer to price action i did a lot of research when i woke up i checked the whale charts i was trying to find out if we had any new whales we crossed 144,000 holders i checked the holders man it's good to know binance is still holding down here kucoin so a lot to be positive about especially if you're new into crypto right if you're if you're new into crypto and you're looking for a meme coin project that has a uh, thriving community that 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 it doesn't have the volatility of some of these micro caps, some of these small cap meme coins. It really has a solid project behind it, like the Methuselah Foundation. Then Elon definitely has to be something on your radar and watch list, especially looking at Elon sitting here at a measly $87 million market cap when we know at one point this project was able to hit the heights of a $1 billion evaluation. That is huge. That at one point, family, think about it. At one point, Dagalon Mars market cap was $1 billion. Absolutely insane. So I don't know what they did with the value here. You see down 13%. Um, I think coin market cap had a glitch. I wish it was true, man. I wish we was stacking up that value. We did see a lot of uh, noise from dogecoin and the x and you know i was thinking like wow is this a pump because of dogecoin and, and um x and the x app but again it seems like it could have been a glitch hopefully it wasn't i'm not sure but it, for it to just go back to 1 million like that it 74 70 70 percent of chance say that it's a glitch you know what i'm saying so i don't know though you know i want to keep the, the hopium open you know it's thirsty thursday we try to keep that hopey of there for elon but i was watching a um i was watching um i think i was watching a pablo crow live stream and he was talking about vote inu and he made a great point he made a great point family he was like so many um influencers and you know they they you know shill these projects while they're at the top and people's chasing green candles hard to make money when you're buying projects at the top so you know when these projects hit these floor levels i mean that may be the best time to dca because when the bull run comes back around and some of these popular cryptocurrencies run you're putting yourself in a very 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 uh, favorable position to see insane gains because you bought at floor levels opposed to buying at the top and chasing green candles so you got to set your mind up and um, understand the psychology behind it. This is what they want you to do, kind of like shake you out of the market. Now, I'm not per se saying to buy Elon or Dogecoin or Vote Inu, but what I'm telling you guys is that there will be a lot of gems that we may overlook or sleep chasing new cryptocurrencies. Now, you know, I'm a big narrative guy, but I do have an understanding that some cryptocurrencies, when they floor out, they go back parabolic in the next run. Some of them don't, okay? so. It's a 50 50 chance that it happens um, when you think about some of the fundamentals here with doja Long mars you think about the community how it's thriving you think about the methuselah foundation and their mission about longevity you think about um the different you know plays off the elon musk narrative twitter you know it's a lot of things that can cause this cryptocurrency to run in the next bull cycle in fact the last bull run we've seen a lot of catalysts um from rappers 
race car drivers, and a lot of people talking about the Elon token. But I stumbled across something. I stumbled across something, and and I didn't I didn't know this. Okay, so salute to my guy Dan Fogel, man. Salute to my guy because um, he's been like sharing my videos and stuff like that. But I I never knew who he was. I actually hit him up on uh, Twitter here, as you can see. I hit him up on Twitter. Um, no, he did not respond, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? You know, still my guy, still my guy. But um, after doing research on Dan Foger, I, I, I was like, man, who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? I seen him with Lil Uzi and, you know, showing off the chains here. And I was like, man, who who is Dan Fogel? You know what I'm saying? This is, this is an Elon whale here, right? Well, after doing more research on the guy, I found out that he was the owner of owner, excuse me, of one of the most popular websites for jewelry called Gold. I mean, so many rappers shop on this website, man. And here we got the owner of the Gold Shop, right? Literally shilling Elon. Literally. So this is what I'm talking about, family, when I say potential catalysts will come back around once Elon rises again. This is a perfect example. Now, shout out to Dan Fogel for riding with the team at the lows. This is what I respect this. You know what I'm saying? Riding out with the team at the lows and not just jumping on the bandwagon when we start running again. I expect this guy probably got a huge bag of Elon, right? And he's probably going to see some insane gains in the next bull cycle. He seems very, very committed on Elon. He's always uh, talking about it, shilling it on his Twitter. You feel me? And uh, yeah, it, this this is not hype, man. This is not hype. This guy is official. You can see him right here. What Lil Uzi? What Lil Uzi? Right. So you you gotta understand that, yo. Like I I can say what I want to say. What I what you know about Elon and the developers. When but when it comes to the popularity aspect. I mean, you can't you can't deny it. You can't ignore it. So hopefully I can get my boy Dan Foger on the show, man. I would love to give you an interview, bro. If you watching the video, if you rock with me, man, let me know, man. Salute to you again for for keeping it um keeping it solid with the Elon community. But we'll have to continue to monitor this, man. Um as far as the charts go, you can see that we are um the stock RSI's been like rolling, you know, momentum losing momentum but we haven't seen anything change from the price action so it has to be some type of suppression and manipulation going on with the dog along mars token and your boy millie gonna find it i'm gonna find out what it is because there's no way right for the stock rsi to reset come back down reset but we're not seeing no action on the price side somebody's manipulating somebody's suppressing the elon some whale you know somebody's selling something's going on but again, y'all let me know what y'all think about this spike on volume yesterday, last night, middle of the night. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. We'll continue to monitor Elon, man. Shout out to my boy, Dan Fogel, man. Uh, man, I, I respect entrepreneurs, man. And this guy, like I said, big Elon Schiller right here. So. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Dog and Lamar, Doge and Lamar. Let me tell you know, about the volume. It's your boy, Crypto Billy. I'll see you in the next one.